Hello and welcome to Nero, or Nothing Ever Remains Obscure. I have no fucking clue what this game is, but it looked cool, so I'm just going to start it up and see how it goes. Storm in a teacup. That sounds awesome. Where can you buy a teacup that's just filled with a storm? Does it come with lightning or do you have to pay extra for that? Beyond ideas of wrongness and rightness, there is a field. Where's the field? I will meet you there, my beautiful hypocrite. How dare you call me a hypocrite? I'm not religious. <laughs> that one's gonna start an argument, probably. Apologies to any religious people, or to any random hip hypocrites. Oh, well, this game's pretty already. What the hell was that belief? Oh, I still have Discord open. Just gonna mute the entire computer for now. I like the look of this game already, especially the fucking beautiful galaxy it's showing. Who doesn't enjoy some galaxy? I know I do. Galaxy is awesome. Awesome. Super sized jellyfish. And they glow. I'd say something about having one as a pet, but I'm pretty sure that they like sting like a motherfucker and some of them are poisonous. Or is it just a box jellyfish that's poisonous? I think it's just a box jellyfish that's like really fucking tiny that'll poison the living shit out of you. Well, the game's pretty already. I like the loading screen art. It's very colorful. Make an awesome background for, like, anything. Makes an awesome TV background right now. I hear audio, but I see nothing. When shall I return from the- I've come from the darkness. Oh god, they're so pretty! I can't- can I jump? I can't jump. A long time ago... Uh... Brigands were roaming the seas. Okay. Um, let me check something real quick, because I need to, like, up my sensitivity. I don't move around quick enough. Oh, that's better. That's a lot better. The brigands had dozens of hideouts scattered throughout the ocean. Can I, like, check in this stuff? Can I open doors and things? Can I, I... I can't go up the steps? You, you know how steps work, right? I can walk up them, damn it. Well, fuck. I apparently cannot. Alright, let me see if I can't turn the brightness up a bit. Uh... Field of view, I guess. Open that. Gamma up. Language English, yeah. Well, I guess I can't up the brightness much. Well, up in the gamma helped a little. What's this? The fuck? I found a random picture. I, I don't I don't know what the fuck it's for or what I'm gonna use it for, but I found it. That counts for something, right? That counts for finding a random picture. Alright, what's this one say? One of these hideouts was in a, in a safe lagoon, surrounded by mountains. That'd be kinda cool. Can I live in a mountain? Just hide away from the world? I, I can't go up steps, apparently. Any of them. Well, wait, I see writing over here. What does this say? At the lagoon, the brigands built a small fishing village. In case the authorities would discover them. Well, yeah, if you just say that it's for fish and they can't know that you're selling drugs and everything else there. Remember, deny, deny, deny. <laughs> That's horrible advice. We have a beautiful baby boy. I, I don't see any children anywhere on here. But okay. Moving on. That sounds about right. Painful truths will always be conquered by denial. 
like I just said, deny. The truths behind this place was even more impressive than the lagoon itself. I mean, the lagoon is pretty fucking impressive. Can I go through there? No, it's a rock. It looked all shiny and stuff. I like shiny things. A mechanism with a contraption blocked the way out of the beach. Okay. <coughs> Ow, that cough hurt. Let's see, what do we have here? Ooh, that's pretty colored. I like colors. There's so many vibrant fucking colors in this game. Whoa, it just jumped to things on me. Okay, do I have to like put my hand on both or does it require two people? If it requires two people, I'm fucked. Let's see, that one's up, this one's up. I guess I go to this one because it showed it first. And then this one? So am I one of the brigands? Oh, okay, so I've got to hit it until it matches up. Did I get it right already? Nailed it. Totally fucking nailed it. I knew what I'm doing. There's a lot of reading in this game. Oh well, I need to get better at reading out loud, I guess. This is a hassle, damn it! This is a hassle, Hoff. Okay, the, me the mechanism, if unlocked, unveiled a deep system of underground caves. Alright. These are some pretty ass underground caves. Now, is it stalactites that come from the stealing and stalagmites that come from the ground? I can never remember. Could you hold him for a minute? Um, no, there's no one here. Walk, walk up the goddamn side. Glowing crystals and bioluminescent plants made the path in the caves easy enough to follow. Okay, I guess I gotta walk through the water, you stupid ground. Oh, hey, I can run. Doo -doo -doo. Just run along, fuck it. Ooh, shiny. Wait, is that another picture? Gimme. I have more. Now, what's this one say? Small waterfalls and underground rivers kept the caves humid for mushrooms and flo for mushrooms to flourish. I heard fucking people yelling outside, damn it. I'm trying to read things here. Can I go in the water? No. Wait, can I? No. Damn it. I wanted to go into water. This is a fucking huge cave, man. I like it. Can I go up this? I can go up this somewhat. Nope, not all the way. God damn it. How dare you give me borders and a set path to take? Alright, what's this one say? The real hideout of Brigand lay hidden deep into the caves. Alright. Is that, is that where we're going? Is Well, obviously that's where we're going is deep into the caves, so we're gonna find it. I guess I'm just supposed to walk toward the lit up writing and shit then strange animals roamed the caves giant giant caterpillars fed on the bioluminescent plants whoa is that a giant caterpillar that's fucking awesome what's down there is there anything down here i can't go down here well onward to the giant caterpillar he looks badass can i have a giant caterpillar as a pet Oh my god, when he gets into a cocoon, does Mothra come out? Can we fight Godzilla with this giant caterpillar? But the brigands were smart enough to block the passage to the tunnels with mini contraptions. Well, what contraptions? That just looks fucking cool. I'm liking this game so far. One of these contraptions was blocking the passage in a dark room filled with crystals. Is this that, like, really old fucking movie by the Muppet guy? The Dark Crystal? I've still not watched that, but I've heard that I should. Cool, I'm going up it. I like all the crystal shit, though. It's like bright-ass LED lights and shit. It's cool. It all involves magic. And nothing ever stays obscure, as the game's title says.
Okay, so I've got to go down there and read that and then shoot the orb into there, I guess? Oh, that's the only thing I can guess, so... Let's wing it. Really nicely done game, though. Okay, so I can cast. Did I hit it? I did. Nailed it. There was a key to some contraptions in the room, but only a brave and clever person could understand its use. Okay. I don't know if I'm the brave and clever person, because I'm not that bright, but I'll accept the compliment. Oh, that's the shadow of that thing. I thought that was a dead body for a minute. <laughs> like, oh shit, the game just went dark out of nowhere. Let's see, what's this one say? Sometimes the moon was shining into the depths through holes in the mountain. That's fucking gorgeous. Do I go that way, or was there anything back this way? Yeah, I don't think there is anything back that way. Doesn't look like it. Well, onward. We shall go forward toward the more writing. Such a gorgeous fucking sky. I love stars. The galaxy is awesome. Let's see what we got over here. The moonlight would soothe the hearts of the brigands, tired from the last assignment. What the hell was their assignments? Am I an assassin? That'd be awesome. Two paths divided the road up ahead, both leading to some mysterious structures. Okay. So which, which path do I take then? Or do I get to try out both? I guess we'll just decide when we get there. I like the water and the sky and the shiny. Wait, is that another picture? I've got some more finally. Nowhere near enough to actually see what the hell it is. And there's a good possibility I'll never find all of it through the playthrough. But oh well, we're gonna find out. Alright, so I'm guessing these describe each path. On the left, a big room led to a structure so ancient even the brigands didn't know how it didn't know its true purpose. On the right, a huge pillar was used to raise and lower a statue of a goddess. I kinda wanna find out what the hell the big structure that they didn't even know the purpose of was. That just sounds cool. It's a big ass room. Let's see what we can find. A rickety bridge. Rickety bridge is always fun. A giant torso of an ancient god made of stone. Is that supposed to say was? Because it's kind of like clipped into the wall there. Was crying water to the lower room. Cool. Do, do, I, do I go up or... Do, I'm going to go down first and see what the blue says. Is that okay no that's not a person it's good to see you happy I am finally truly completely happy what's this one brigands didn't want to anger an old old deity so they always left the structure untouched I mean I'm okay with angering an old deity I'm gonna go up the path over here and find out what the hell it does I'm too curious not to. I thought that was like a destroyed car for a second. Wait, is that a picture down there? <coughs> that totally is. See, I would have missed that. I found that by luck. Now to go up. Upward and see. What is there? Can I actually use these steps? I can. What? Wait, wait, wait. Why did it change? Ha! There is a thing up there. I'm gonna go press it. Or I guess stand on it. Either way, I'm gonna find out what the hell it does. 
They say curiosity killed the cat, but I say I'm not a fucking cat. Oh, that's hard to read. The path to the ancient god was dangerous, so the brigands decided to put it into safety with some nets. Well, I mean, yeah, safety helps. Safety's boring, but it helps. Who doesn't enjoy a little safety every now and then? You gotta have comfort. Now do I just stand on this? I do. Whoa. There's, there's one of those eyeball thingies. But, but, wait, can I just cast? I can just cast. I didn't know that I just had that from now on. Fire! Did, did I get it? Or do I have to shoot higher? I got it! Cool. So wait, did I just that? I okay. Did I just stop the water? Wait, is there fall damage? I don't think I can even go off the edge. I guess I'm not gonna find that out. Oh, that's gorgeous. I kind of wish I could run faster than this. <laughs> Just because it takes a lot of time to run back and forth. Did anything happen under her? Or did I just like shut the water off? Was there any point to that? I'm guessing there wasn't much of a point to that, so... Okie dokie, onward to this path then. Find out what's next. This might end up being a pretty long playthrough. Both the paths were leading to a room with a mechanism blocking the way forward. Okay. So does that mean that from this path I can actually go down the other path and find out what there was? Cool. Random mechanisms. I could press that right now, but I kind of want to go back this way and find out what was in the other path. Curiosity. I, I want to know. Three monkeys were part of the mechanism, the last barrier to the underground hideout. Okay, we'll go there in a minute. I want to see what's over here. I didn't take this path, and now I want to know. Maybe there's also a picture somewhere. Ooh, see, that's pretty. I would have missed that. When the statue was lowered, it meant that some brigands had died and would be exa la 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 la, exalted by their companions. Oh, sadness. So I'm guessing I just, like, go around and shoot all these then? I mean, why not? Did I not hit it? There we go. Well, there's one. About to hit the second one. And then I'll hit the third one. What's this say though? The statue, when raised, would shine its blessing on the entire area. I don't know why I paused in between that. <laughs> Boop! Got it. That's cool. I like this. Now which way was I supposed to go to get back to the thing? Was it this way? Maybe. 
Oh wait, no, that's the path that I just came from. Okay, so back through here. And then we can open the other door. That is cool. I'm liking this game. Oh, uh, okay, that's that's not a path, so... Gotta go through this doorway. Or this one. I don't know, I'm lost already. It happens. Did I already read that one? Yeah. Now let's go see the next section. Pretty sure I already read this one too. Yeah, three monkeys. And there's a button behind it. And I think there's a picture over there which I'll go grab in a minute. Oh, there's one. I'm guessing I have to do this until I find all three. I'd assume so. And that third one's probably gonna be on the front. Yep. Did I get it? I did not get it somehow. But let me grab this picture while I'm right here. Did I not get it again? What the hell? <laughs> go in the hole. The there we go. Look at that, we don't open a new path. Is that another caterpillar? Aye! Can I shoot the caterpillar? I cannot shoot the caterpillar. But it was worth a shot. Once the mechanism was solved, the brigand had to walk a long tunnel filled by those glowing caterpillars. Cool. They're so big. Can I just like grab one and take it home? Who doesn't want a giant caterpillar as a pet? Especially one that's like fucking 30 foot tall like that first one we saw. Or like this big guy. He's like my goddamn size. These guys would make hell of awesome pets. Especially when they turned into a giant butterfly that could fly you somewhere. I don't know what's back here but... Okay, fucking nothing. Thought maybe there'd be a picture chunk or something. There's so many giant caterpillars. I'd assume they're friendly. They didn't, like, attack me when I shot their friend. Well. What was ahead was so... Magnificent, magnificent that it defied all human logic or wait did I even read that right it defied a human intelligence I probably read that wrong again I don't know I don't care I'm just rushing through let's see what this one is a real hideout of the brigands a village in a cave longer than anything you had ever seen with a caterpillar bigger than any you have ever seen You could understand that this place was built centuries ago, maybe even millennia, before the brigand finally discovered it. Cool. This is a cool looking place.
An opening in the rocks gave enough light and several pounds of fresh water s served the brigands well. Holy shit. Huge pillars made of stone on the sides of the area gave the brigands shivers like if a god himself had built the place. Cool. <laughs> Neato. Walk to your father. You can do it. Come on, sweetie. I, I, I don't see anyone here, but okay. What the hell happened over there? Is that somebody alive? Is that another brigand? Am I not alone? Who the fuck is David and why am I willing to die for him? I don't know you, David. Where's Goliath? <laughs> God, I make bad jokes. But I'm okay with it. I entertain myself. Okay. Oh, I have a companion. Can I shoot you in the face? It, it just went through you, and you scratched your head. You fucking smartass. Alrighty, well, now that I've found a companion, I'm actually gonna leave this video here for now. But thank you for watching, and have a wonderful